what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fix your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box below i feel like something significant happened in december i don't know what it could be um, I feel like this kind of almost made Christmas not feel very Christmassy. Okay, I don't know if this was this year, last year, 10 years ago, 15, but something happened significant around Christmas time. Um, uh, that was very hurtful. That is kind of depressing. It, it, it almost makes like when Christmas time rolls around, like makes somebody kind of depressed i don't know what that's pertaining to um that might not be for everybody like i said take what resonates leave what doesn't energy is always changing it's always fluent it could be like this today and completely different tomorrow but let's see what's going on within this connection at this time spirit ancestors and guides can we please see what's going on within this connection at this time faking the funk pretending to be cooler than they actually are Okay, so we have somebody here who is faking it to make it, okay? They're pretending to be cooler than what they actually are. And I don't know why that card makes me laugh because that sounds so very teenager, childish, right? Um, Bottom of the deck, callous, cruel, and disregards others. So look at this person stepping on other people's like toes, stepping over other people in order to get what they want. Okay, so this person is very, very cruel. Um, They disregard others. They disregard others' feelings. And this isn't just yours. This is like coworkers, friends, family. You know, they don't give a damn. But there's an energy of somebody here trying to pretend like they're happier than what they really are. I think that's more what that is. It's like, not that they're cooler than what they are, but that they're happier than what they truly are. Or like they're they're better, they're cool, they're calm, they're collected about the situation that's going on. But this person really is actually panicking on the inside. Let's see what else is going on. Spirit, ancestors, and guides. Put in handcuffs, public embarrassment. Oh my gosh. I really hope somebody isn't going to jail. Okay. I feel like this is an energy of like, you know, going to jail and being publicly embarrassed about it. Like this is in front of a bunch of people. Um, Or, you know, a lot of people had heard about this. This could have been something very, very minor because I feel like this person contempt for and or disgust with somebody throw shade. Um, I feel like this person was in, is in a very fucked up place mentally. There could be somebody else that throw shade in your, your, in your way. Oh, okay. Um, or you are just finally disgusted with this person's behavior and it's like it's almost like throwing karma in their face because i think what happened could have been very minor misdemeanor maybe a ticket you know um something that is not quite serious but did get their eyes put in handcuffs okay they're hiding this from you they're faking, okay? This could have been like just an overnight stay in jail ticket, you know, sleep out a ticket, whatever it is, okay? But the thing is, you done heard it through the grapevine. You done already heard about this, okay? And what it makes you do is it makes you feel even more like disgusted, just like, you know... I feel like you could be throwing shade at this person, to be quite honest. I feel like you could be like, shit, in this energy, like, shit, karma sucks, don't it? When you hurt good people, the universe ain't finna play, right? The universe don't play about me, right? I feel like that's that energy somebody's in. 
And it's come to a point where that love that you had for this person kind of has turned into some kind of disgust. And so they're going to come to you and they're going to be like, poor pitiful me, victim energy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this happened. I went to jail. They impounded my car. They, they did this, whatever. Okay. Um, but I thought you was happy. I thought you were good. I thought, you, you see what I'm saying? It's like an energy of, and don't feel bad. Don't regret this. Like, don't feel guilty for being like this. This is all a part of this person's karma. They couldn't see the beautiful qualities in you. It's like they didn't distinguish you from the rest of the people that they've dealt with. Okay, so with this indistinguishable at the bottom, it says lacking identifying or individualizing qualities. Okay, I've never gotten this card. And what this card is saying to me intuitively is that now there's two sunflowers, right? Now this is two options, two beautiful options that kind of have the same type of qualities. Hmm. Y'all, just bear with me while I'm channeling this energy. I thought we could share everything. Slept with a friend's lover. Okay. So they were fucking with somebody else. They could have slept with your friend. They could have slept with one of their friends. You know, old ladies, old men, whatever. You know. Um, and so I feel like there are these two sunflowers. And I feel like you're one of the sunflowers and then there's this other sunflower energy. And I've got to cut it to you straight. I'm not going to be like, oh, this person's like ugly, wicked, blah, blah, blah. No, this is another sunflower energy. Um, and so it's like they're... But one of these... Okay, so what I'm picturing is a real sunflower, right? Then I'm picturing a fake sunflower, okay? And they're sitting up next to each other, but you can't distinguish which one is the fake and which one's the real one, right? And so this person, because you and this other person that they are dealing with have so many of the same qualities, right? They have a hard time distinguishing the qualities in you and the individualities in you. It's like they compare you to what they have dealt with in the past. Or things that they have dealt with in the past or are currently dealing with. Okay. And it's like, okay, just because this person comes off as a sunflower energy. They're, and they're fake as fuck. And they don't stand on their shit. Doesn't mean that I lack those qualities. And so that's where this person needs to put in discernment where it's like, you, you don't lack those qualities. You are a true sunflower. But they, they identify you with these other fakes amongst you because they see the same qualities, if that makes any sense. Okay? Okay. I feel like they're going to find out that this somebody else that they're dealing with is sleeping with one of their friends. That's definitely something I feel here. Is that whoever you're dealing with is going to find out that this sunflower who tried to compete and compare and mimic you 100% um, is slept with one of their friends, cousins, close people. Yeah. What else is going on here, spirit? So they're really trying to put some money up right now, okay? I don't know if they're trying to hide this this from this other energy that they're dealing with. Creep, so I creep. 
Yeah, just keep it on the down low. Said nobody else was supposed to know. So I freak. And I don't know what the fuck this is. Race fetish. I'll take every one, each one, please. So this person could be dealing with like a, a white girl, a black girl, a Hispanic girl. A, you know what I'm saying? Like, what in the fuck does this person have going on now that it's getting further into this reading? They're self-sabotaging themselves, all, always holding themselves back due to fear of failure. But there is this one specific flower that they're attracted to. And so they feel like if they were to deal with you, that they would be creeping. But what's interesting is that I feel like they... Okay. Say this is like... No, we ain't even going to go there. Okay, spirit. They're going to find out that whoever they're dealing with, this karmic energy, this sunflower that tried to stand up and, and mimic and your energy and be like you, um, even if they don't know you, is the one that's creeping here. I feel like that's this karmic energy who has the race fetish. And that's what I was going to say. But like spirit is holding me back from saying it. Like. Hmm. But they're definitely, you know, sabotaging themselves. Look at this dude. He's sawing off this tree, right? But look at what end he's on. He's finna fucking fall. He's setting himself up for failure. Definitely trying to get away from a situation. Trying to hide money or stash money or put up money. Hustle up money. You know, get it however they can right now. This person is doing a lot of self-medicating. Okay, however the fuck they choose to self-medicate. Um, that's what they're doing. Because I see that Ace of Hearts is on the, that card. That Ace of Hearts, see, you could you could read tarot with just a plain uh, deck of cards. Ace of Hearts represents the, the Ace of Cups, okay? Now they're over here fucked up about this new beginning, about this other person that they had. Because they're going to find out that this other person is creeping, so I creep. Yeah, with one of their friends. And it's going to be one of their friends that they don't even think like twice about. And that's what I was going to say. Like, say this is like a black couple, okay? And this person has, the person you're dealing with has like a white homeboy, right? It's somebody that they would never think like she, she going to fuck with, right? Then come to find out like they're creeping with this other person, right? say it's this interracial relationship and then like it, you have this person coming around you ain't even thinking twice like they ain't even thinking twice that their person would be interested in this person but they are that that's like what i'm seeing here right like the karmic is gonna end up sleeping with one of their friends that they least expect it to be i feel like it's gonna be a different race Maybe even Asian here, okay, is what I'm seeing here. Hispanic. But it's like, it, it's going to be one of those, whoever the karmic cheats on this person with is going to be one of their friends, cousins, somebody that they never expected, that they're thinking like, like, they would never go for this person. They would never fuck with this person. Like, I ain't got shit to worry about. Oh, yeah, you do, buddy. Because this person's creeping. And they're keeping it on the down low. And they're smiling in your face. And then your person is going to be coming towards you. And they're going to be depressed. And they're going to be sad. And they're going to probably be done went to jail. Because they were all emotionally in their feelings. Getting fucked up. Getting far too fucked up. Might have gotten pulled over. It could be a DUI. Okay. Something like that that happened. And got their ass sent to jail. Because they're all caught up in their fucking feelings. What? Because they were self-sabotaging themselves from the fucking beginning. 
they were digging themselves to that, that grave deeper and deeper and deeper. And now, like, when they come towards you and they're like, man, they, they slept with this person. Then I was just, like, mentally fucked up. I got stopped. I, I This happened to me. There's an energy of you being over here like, huh, I'm just disgusted. I'm disgusted with your energy. Like, because I feel like this person is going to be honest. Like, yeah, I was dealing with this karmic energy. I was fucking putting my all into this energy. I was trying to make it work with this energy. And then I found out this energy was fucking with one of my very close friends who I never thought would ever do that. And it broke me. It broke me down. This is this person's going to be like coming to you raw and honest. And it's really going to make you feel some type of way. Like, damn, you felt that bad about that person. I, like, I'm telling you. But they're going to be very, very raw. And they're going to be like, then, you know, I might have popped some pills or I might have gotten drunk as hell. I might have did this or that and was cruising, got stopped by the laws, you know, got my ass arrested. And they're telling you all of this. And at the end of the day, it's like, it's not like I told you so or ha ha, that's what you deserve. But it's like, okay. Like, a contempt for a disgust. Like, you know, like, you could have been happy. You could have been in a good place. It's really going to hurt your feelings. It's going to make you feel disgusted because they're going to be raw about their feelings about the other person, how they that other person cheated on them and it put them through it. And it's, like, going to have you feel like, really, I don't even want to listen to this shit no more. They're going to think you feel sorry for them, but I don't feel like you are. I really don't feel like you are. I feel like you're going to listen to them though and you're going to be there for them because it's all a part of their karma. This person is going to go through a downward spiral over somebody else and they expect you to be there like to be like, damn, to mend their broken heart. Like what? Like I'll be there for you as a friend, but I don't want to sit here and just listen to what this other person put you through and how heartbroken you are about this other person. So... Uh, it's like, once again, self-sabotaging themselves. <laughs> they need to fall the fuck back is what they need to do. They need to sit down somewhere because this person is going to drive, that karmic is going to drive them emotionally insane, especially after finding out that they're sleeping with their close friend. Especially, you know, these two sunflowers never compared. And they're going to tell you that they should have, they should have fucked with you. That's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, make sure you comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.